Your desk setup sucks and so did mine. If you're working remotely from home, your desk is command central. Recently at Magical, we released a video highlighting a few tips and tricks from various employees and their workstations. So inspired by their video, I created the ultimate desk setup workstation that I can Frankenstein together. And so I'm gonna break it down for you in this video coming up. Did you know that the average remote worker or office goer spends the majority of their day glued to their chair? For me personally, I'm glued to my desk so so I probably spend about eight hours sitting. According to recent research from the Mayo Clinic, spending over eight hours a day seated without any physical activity bears risk similar to obesity smoking which is quite shocking, right? However, the same studies reveal that an active lifestyle with 60 to 75 minutes of moderate physical activity can counteract these risks. So what does this mean for us, the desk bound warriors? It means movement isn't just good, but it's absolutely necessary for our longevity and our health. So how are we going to integrate this into our workspace? Well, first of all, standing desk. It's an absolute game changer. The day I got mine set up, it did wonders for my back. I simply ordered the legs and had a custom tabletop drilled into it. Now there are a myriad of affordable options on Amazon that allow you to switch between sitting and standing throughout the day, giving your body the change of posture it direly needs. Simple habits like taking a break every 30 minutes, standing during calls, or even having walk and talk meetings can substantially reduce the health risks associated with prolonged sitting. So you're probably wondering what's actually on my desk. Well, the gadgets and peripherals on my desk are tailored to my specific needs, especially since a lot of my day involves creating and curating video and audio content. So if you find yourself in similar shoes looking to amp up your virtual meetings or media production game, you might find some gems in my setup. And so first off, my trusty Logitech keyboard. This little warrior wirelessly pairs with my Mac and is officially my third keyboard. No issues so far and trust me, it has seen some things. Alongside, I've got two mousing options, the sleek Magic Trackpad in matte black and the YouTube celebrity, the MX Master 3X from Logitech. They both launch comfortably on my cheap desk mat from Amazon, protecting my workspace from scratches and scuffs. Now, moving on to something that literally brightens my day and night, <laughs> my monitor's light bar. Controlled by a nifty little puck, it keeps my setups illuminated so I don't have to strain my eye during those late night scripting sessions. Speaking of the monitor, I've got to admit, I splurged on the Apple Studio display with its eye-watering $1,800 price tag. Yes, I know, of course, ouch. <laughs> but for someone who edits thumbnail images and 4K content, the color accuracy and 5K capabilities are a game changer. Now this thing is quite heavy, so it's anchored to a sturdy monitor arm from Amazon, which clears up so much desk space. Connected to this visual marvel is my MacBook Pro with the M2 chip, all thanks to the CalDigit TS4, the glue of my desk with 18 ports powering my MacBook while driving the display. It also links up to my Rodecaster Pro 2, equipped with the legendary Shaw SM7B microphone, delivering the crisp audio you're hearing right now. How does this sound to you? The Rodecaster Pro 2 is an advanced integrated audio production console designed for podcasters, streamers, musicians, and content creators who demand high quality. A magical podcast? Hmm, that might be in the cards. Would you tune in? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, let's stay on script. And speaking of scripts, thanks to the Elgato prompter, I can glance at my lines while keeping eyes locked with the camera or with you on a Zoom call, making virtual meetings more engaging. I've also knitted out with some Elgato life hacks like the Stream Deck, where a single button press can launch the magical website, control my Zoom, or even streamline my video editing workflow. Paired with the Elgato foot pedal, it's like having an extra set of hands, but like on the ground, <laughs> freeing me up to focus on creating without getting bogged down in toggles and with clicks. Remember, it's not about having all the latest gear, but finding what complements your flow. Each piece of tech on my desk isn't just a tool, but it's a reminder of the gaping hole in my pocket. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, my utility belt to my Batman or whatever. <laughs> so let's talk about clutter and storage. And I'll be the first to admit that my desk isn't always a beacon of tidiness. There have been many a late nights fueled by Cheetos with the aftermath visible the next morning. Yup, 
guilty as charged. But here's the thing, clutter isn't just about mess. It mirrors the chaos it can create in our minds, so it's quite beneficial to clear our desk to improve mental productivity. So I've opted to invest in storage solutions to avoid this clutter issue. Think of it as giving every item a home to return to when not in use. So it's clearing out not just the physical space, but mentally decluttering the process. For me, the game changer has been the Belolo cockpit. Imagine a single piece of furniture that not only elevates the monitor, bringing it up to the perfect eye level, but it also comes with its own ecosystem. This modular marvel from this German company cradles my laptop, it houses small items, and even integrates a spot for my wireless charger. It's like the Swiss army knife of desk storage, keeping my space neat and everything within arm's reach. Introducing such modular solutions mean you can customize your storage to fit your needs, ensuring that each item has its designated spot. No more lost pens, buried cables, or let's be honest, stray nail clippings. <laughs> it's all about creating an environment that breeds clarity and creativity. And let's not forget, a clutter-free desk isn't just for show. It's a vital cog in the productivity machine, making it easier to focus, to innovate, and of course, sprawl out during those intense work sessions with without knocking something over. So powering all these doodads and gizmos is crucial. And I've stuck an entire power strip under my desk and this allows for easy access to power or my gadgets without having to play find the outlet every time. Now with great power comes great cable chaos. <laughs> Let me level with you. When it comes to cable management, I'm no guru. The tangle of cords can start resembling a modern art piece if left unchecked. Recognizing this, I've armed myself with a cable management kit and uh, well, it's not quite set up yet, but let's just say it's inching its way into my to-do list. And with a possible move on the horizon, I've hit the pause button on unleashing its full potential. But trust me, the vision is there, and as soon as possible, I will try to execute. <laughs> So one of the most important aspects for me in my setup is the level of comfort and inspiration it exudes. If my space is dreary and demotivating, I'm less likely to get into a creative work mindset. And I'm pretty sure it's the same for most of you. So I recommend adding small items of your personality or inspiring elements to retrofit your space into a place of zen. Take for instance, my desk buddy, a resilient little plant that's not just green, but symbolizes growth, a nudge to keep pushing forward even on Mondays. But I'd be remiss if I didn't get to introduce you to a non-physical yet indisputable part of my setup, magical. This powerhouse of efficiency isn't something that sits on my desk, but it's always at work behind the scenes. From zapping through emails, automating data entry, to smoothing out admin work, Magical is my secret weapon against time draining tasks. And just like that, we've journeyed through the ins and out of my ultimate desk setup. But hey, the magic doesn't stop there. I'm curious, what do you think could add even more spark to my setup? Or share what tips you found to be a game changer. Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the inspiration flowing. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more content. Check out this video where my amazing colleagues unveil their desk setups. And until next time, stay inventive, stay inspired, and above all, stay magical.